Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout Nevada. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you're to join me today here inside, I suppose, the the town hall? The service vault, actually. Oh, okay. Um, so one thing I forgot to do, this might get me in trouble, but one thing I forgot to do last episode was try to blow this up with my uh, things. Yes. Yes, it does. I was actually kind of hoping that it would, um, that it would, uh, uh, show the, the blown up doors that, that you see, or the blown up door, in fact, just a single one that you see in Fallout 2, where in the vault they, they blew up one of the doors, but yeah, we're through. Oh, I'm, oh, I need to. Yes. Oh yeah, we have proper dynamite now. Proper TNT. I don't know if they call it TNT or dynamite. <gasps> and we have red X. Oh, okay. They call it dynamite. Okay. And uh, and what about this? A laser pistol. Eh, that's okay. That's pretty nice. I can't carry all that much. That's less nice. But it's still nice. I'm okay. Uh, let's see. Do you like... Yes, you do. So, these are actually kind of expensive. Uh, let's see what I have over here. These... Oh, these are way heavier. Yo, I need to read that as well. Mm. Well, this should be okay for that. And I'll take a couple. And I'll actually read these things in here. Because why not? Didn't we get a book? Let's see. Let's go with that. Yeah, you learn a lot about wilderness survival. Which is always nice. Uh, let's see if there's any other books around here. My inventory is kind of big. I like that it is. Uh, is this heavy? No. Okay, good. So I can take the rest of the apples. And then you stay over there, you stupid TV diner. Not diner, dinner. Uh, so yeah, that's how you get in there. Uh, dynamite. Because, you know, I'm TNT. That, well, now I do have TNT. Not TNT, this is literal dynamite. Wait, what, what? Substance Kizegular? Is that how? Nitroglycerin. It's, I don't know if it's TNT or not. I don't really understand things. I probably shouldn't go around with my weapon drawn. These people are nice and fine. Don't make any trouble if you want to leave here alive. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, yeah, right. You're so well informed about the situation of your base. So well. Is... Are the lights not on, actually? Because that would explain how why it's so dark. This generator supplies electricity to the entire bunker. But is it on? It doesn't look like it, it is on. Sea power generator. Okay, let's try and repair it. You cannot repair that. Okay. What about that control panel? Maybe I should close the door before. I'm tr I'm not gonna do anything terrible. I promise. Now, what is this? What? Huh. With some curiosity, you inspect this piece of hardware. A vault tech symbol is visible on its surface, reminding you of your home vault. Yeah, I figured, but there's no... Maybe science will work. Let's extract a working part on the machine. Exactly what I needed. What is it? Pulse modulator. That weighs seven pounds. That's a chip. Well, I guess pulse modulators back in the fifties wouldn't be chips. They would be crazy things. I'm not even sure if they are. They were a thing. The, the I mean, maybe the name was a thing. Now nowadays we have pulse modulators in just normal electronics, because uh, that's a, a thing for control and things. Uh, let's do science a little bit over here. I am overloaded. Okay. Yeah, I'll figure. I'll be figure things out. I think. I'll probably need to stop. Yeah, things are not looking too bright, are they? Uh, well, let's eat some apples. Let's see. So instead of dropping them, of course, because uh, I am in need of a little bit of healing. Uh, that did not give me radiation, which is interesting. I'm pretty sure. Also, it didn't give me satiety. Satiety. It didn't give me that. No. Um, I don't remember what how to pronounce it. I said I think I pronounced it properly. So let's uh, the, you know when I said it. Uh, so these things don't... Are, I don't even know why I'm carrying them, but I am. This is a tool, very important. This is a quest item, so I'm going to carry it. I need the, the queue, so I need to find someone that uh, can fix it. I have this one over here. I'm probably going to need to fix that one, which would make some sense. We got two ropes. They are kind of heavy, but they might be necessary. We got two pieces of junk that we definitely need, but they are really heavy as well, because that's 10 pounds worth of junk, literally. Um, and then, which means that I will have to drop the noodles. Now, noodles are quite expensive, unfortunately, but I'm gonna drop them. And I'm also gonna drop these. I think these are more expensive, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, so that's, oh, and we are, mm, 
What a shame. Well, there's no one in here. There's a person over there. A gunsmith. <gasps> well, it's a gunsmith. We have met them. Ooh, what is that? A corrupted microfusion battery. What do you mean corrupted? That is an interesting way of referring to it. Uh, let's drop these in there. And that is four pounds worth of crap. Man. Okay. Well, uh, I'm dropping these. I'm dropping... I think the hunting rifle is not actually that ne that that good. Because it is really heavy, but it's not that expensive. So I'll just get these instead. Uh, really not necessary for those. And definitely not the ropes. Are these that heavy? Or very heavy? They are very heavy. So this is better. But then again, it's Elvis. So... And I can come back, right? I can come back. Yeah. What about that thing? It's an account book. It is... N what? Hmm. This is an accounting ledger. Reading it will be very tedious. No, it won't. It's a lovely time. This is an accounting ledger. You can't think of a reason to waste your time reading it. There is, that is the reason. Wasting my time. What are you talking about? I can't do anything. But it is probably important for a quest or something. Uh, let's see what else we have. We got an empty room. We have another empty room. At least it looks like it. We have over here a wounded militiaman. Okay. And then we have a ba the actual bathroom, even though these look like bathrooms, but they're not. And then let's have a chat with the wounded militiaman, and then we'll figure out what that guy has to say. This room is occupied. I fi- I- Yeah. Even if I'm outside, you still won't let me do anything. Or talk to you, I should say. Uh, so this guy is a gunsmith. Uh, let's just save before I talk to him. He scratches his, at his neck as he looks at you. Who the hell are you? Well, uh, Mr. Thompson's uh, newest recruit. He told me to introduce myself to everyone. Did he? He sounds skeptical. All right, recruit. So you've, you have a lot of empty cartridges on that table. Why? I repacked them with fresh bullets and prop propellant. Sorry. A boring as shit, but I don't want anyone else doing it. Pack it wrong and someone's likely to get their fingers blown off. Oh. These guys have very, uh, uh, take great care in keeping the, you know, not only the lives of their uh, militia members, but also the, the, in, the physical integrity of them. So, yeah. Why not just use fresh ammo? Ah, yeah. Just get some fresh ammo off the ammo tree. Why did I think of that? He rolls his eyes. Reno's police went through all of its ammunition in the first years after the war. Anything we've found since then has been fired off over the last 10 years of civil war. It's hard enough getting a working gun anymore, let alone ammo. We buy what we can from prospectors and caravans, but uh, we've still got to make every bullet count. So how much does Thompson pay for you? Uh, or pay you for this? You think this is about money? And he gives you a sharp look. No, I don't think actually it is about money. But I also think that you should be paid, right? Unless or, unless you're rich, in which case, yay, I suppose. I don't know, because, you know, how else would you eat? Or, well, they did mention, uh, when was that? When we were talking about, uh, talking to Mike, or what, uh, Rick? What was his name? I don't remember. He said something about distributing food, but that was Big Louise, that was, or Big Louis, that was distributing food. So they might not have need for money. At least, maybe not inside the militia. I don't know exactly what what would um, what any of this would account. Speaking of which, no, like he doesn't he doesn't do anything. Okay, um, I don't know if you notice, he says, but shit's fucked up in this city. We're here because we're the only ones trying to fix it. Back when Reno's old mayor was around, things were different. People were safe. No, they weren't. They were killed, and things worked. Uh, sure, we're gonna bring that back. That's worth a lot more than money. I. Okay, I, okay, I, uh, yeah. So, uh, can you make ammunition for me? He peers at you suspiciously. Don't ask me for money if you are. <laughs> Thompson didn't say you'd be coming by, so I don't have anything for you. These components aren't easy to come by. If you want to, if you want me to make ammo for you, you'll need to bring the supplies yourself. Uh, yeah, I, I, I do have that, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, because it's heavy. Ammo is heavy, and I, I don't want, I don't want that. Uh, so, yeah, let's have a chat with Thompson. Maybe we're going to be able to join him. Uh, and, uh, well, I do need, I do want to meet the other uh, faction if, if I am indeed to join. Uh, but we'll see. Hello. That's a militia man over there. 
and there is a VDU, that's a video display unit, which is also known as a monitor or a screen. It is, it is what it is, actually, yeah. It, it's weird, though, It's because it's a multiple video display uh, unit, but anyway. Oh, look at that! We have a non-talking head, but it's... I wonder if in the Russian version they, they have voiceovers. He looks at you and uh, looks you up and down carefully. You obviously didn't want it here by accident. What are you doing in my headquarters? Um, I kind of want to ask this because it's an interesting question. Who declared you? Mayor, um, but I, I don't think it is very polite. Um, you got a lot of armed men around here. I wanted to know more about you. It would be my pleasure. The idea is simple. We reestablish the town hall and its mayor, just as it was after the Great War. Why, you ask? Because the city's problems began when we lost the rule of law. Without us, You didn't have the rule of law when the mayor was in charge, because he was going around killing people. That's, that's how that works. That's the he was a, he was a dictatorship, so no rule of law. Do you know what the rule of law means? I think he doesn't know what rule of law means. Yeah. So for those of you who might be a little bit hazy on that, rule of law means that everyone is subjected to the law. Uh, I think there is even a Latin word for that. That kind of mm, it's like lex something because lex means law in Latin, but I don't. It's like uh, regis. Lex Regis, or is that a different thing? Because some terms, I, it gets hazy in my head, I'm sorry. It's been a long while since I studied any of this. Uh, but yeah, the rule of law means that everyone is sub uh, subjected to the law and everybody is equal. That's also a important but not necessarily uh, aspect for the rule of law. But it's an important aspect just generally that everybody is equal in the eyes of the law. Uh, it is still technically the rule of law if the law establishes distinctions between citizens, like if you have slavery or if you have uh, uh, castes and all that sort of stuff. It is, it can still be a, a rule of law, but when you have a dictator, when it's the rule of a dictator or of an imperator, or is that, is that that's not the word in English though, Im emperor, sorry, um, I'm thinking back to Roman times, uh, but still it, it, it is an important aspect. He was not the rule of law. Because that's the rule of the mayor. <laughs> very, very simple. But yeah. Without a central authority... See, he's, he, he doesn't know what rule of law, law is. Power shifted to the city's business moguls who tried to take complete control for themselves. And that would be... Um, a not autocracy? Autocracy? It gets hazy in my head, I'm sorry. But there is also a name for what that would be. The business moguls controlling... Um, you know, the... the, the the laws, I guess, which it would be what you see in Fallout 2 in regards to, to New Reno. This is what turned neighbor against neighbor and kicked off the civil war. I want to bring things back to the way they were 40 years ago. Oh, and by the way, last episode or a couple of episodes ago, I didn't check the time, uh, the date. I actually checked the <laughs> the hours. It is indeed 63 years since the world, the the first war, or so, since the world war. Uh, so, not, you know, 60, yeah, but they see 60 as a rounding thing. It's 63, because uh, the date is 21 to 40. No, it might be more than 60, uh, more than 63. I, I'll need to check, but yeah, I, I checked it wrong. Anyway, and some of you did notice, and thank you for telling me in the comments, by the way. Otherwise, I wouldn't have noticed. And would be still saying, ah, it's not been 40 years, and ah, I know this stuff, because I looked at the clock and saw the year. Anyway, I want to bring back 40 years ago, the majority of Reno citizens agree with me. Oh, the majority of Renew citizens want to have you as a dictator, you say, as the would-be dictator. I, ha, ha, I, I, I have to believe you, don't I? Is that the rule of law? Oh, boy. I've seen your posters. Uh, I'm interested. Can you tell me about your movement? It's a movement, I guess. Well, uh, let's make one thing clear. It says, every single man here is devoted to the cause. I have no place for mercenaries or political prostitutes, he says. If, um, I think the term would probably be whore there. Because, the, 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 yeah, you're t really trying to make it a connotation. So, yeah. If you want to be one of us, you have to convince me you're trustworthy and committed. Well, I guess I can't prove that because I need to unlock your faction things. But I stole from you, so yay. Hopefully they won't notice. Uh, they won't have noticed and everything will be fine. So, yeah. Oh, these are the posters then. I didn't actually see that. This is a vivid propaganda poster. It's not very vivid. It seems pretty mu muted, actually. Very, uh, not very bright colors or anything. Honestly, that is, that that yeah. 
If you want to, like, no. Propaganda posters are all, like, they're not printed on white, for one. And also, do you have a printer to make the posters? What, how exactly are things going on? Oh, look at that. We see City Hall over there. Do, do you see that? It's very hard to see. Let's wait. Actually, uh, date is 2040. So, yeah, uh, 63 years. Uh, 63 years since the war. Okay. So, I'm going to wait until morning so we can see the City Hall because it's much better. Also, I gained a bunch of radiation, but who cares? See? Right there. The City Hall. Could be City Hell. Is that supposed to be like City Hell? Because that kind of would be interesting and, and funny. See, that's the sort of humor I appreciate. The, the sort of hidden humor, but not like, not, 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 not like city hell, but sort of like a hint, or maybe a graffiti in there, or something like that. That'd be, I like it. I like that. That's, that's a thing. Now, sarcasm? Don't appreciate that. No, I don't. Just doesn't trans, trans, transmit itself too well in the, in the, in the text. So I need to go south. Um, it doesn't, it just, it's not funny, it's, it, and because I'm reading and not hearing, it's immediately obvious what it is. You don't even have the luxury of just enjoying somebody's performance of sarcasm, which is a, a thing. And this area of Reno looks, of New Reno, excuse me, looks rough. You should watch yourself around here. Yeah, as opposed to the other areas where I don't watch myself. I watch other people. Uh, police lines. Oh, somewhere around here is a nuclear, is the nuclear shelter. Now, people, I, I said before that nuclear shelters didn't work like that, where people were just admitted after the bombs fell. I'm pretty sure we get a, a description of how that worked in Fallout 2. There's a, there's a holodisc that talks about that. I might be mistaken, but in the way the game is talking about, I think they're not talking about vaults. They're just talking about normal nuclear shelters, which, of course, would be a thing. Just It's just normal. Uh, this is pretty big. Reno City Busters. But well, sure, bust up the city, dude. You do that. Let's uh, have a chat with these guys. Hello, I am not here to chat. No one to talk to. I get you. He says, "Yeah, can we talk? What else? No, no. I've got nothing to say to you. Then you don't get me. You get nobody. Um, well, because he's got nothing to say. Well, to me. So maybe get somebody else. I was looking around. What is that, by the way? Promotional poster." It is nothing out of the ordinary, though, but it is look... It does look... I don't even know what that looks like. What is that? I think it's, like, all torn up, and it's supposed to be torn up, but I don't know. Oh, it's it's like pins, and that's a that's a, that's a bowling ball. Yeah, I know what that is. Yeah, I, I have been to bowling things. Yeah. What the fuck do you want? Ugh, <clears throat> God. After the last part... The party last night, my head's killing me. Oh, yeah. Stop. Where are you? Just, who the, would you f who, what who would you just fuck off? He asks. Sorry, I, 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 he rubs his temples. I'm not in the mood to answer any questions. I can't even think right now. Okay, can I medic you? I doubt it, but let me medic you in the face. Uh, the driver looks health healthy already. Although I have taken just a bunch of radiation. There is a radiation storm going through. I would suppose. Um. Can I ask you some questions? No, he's just, he's not having any of, of this. I will still barter with you, though, because I do have a bunch of crap that I need to give. Like, for example, that. No. Well, yeah, that's that doesn't weigh anything, so I'll get that. Um, let's see. Let's see what I can give away, which is not that, great, that, ma that much, but I can still give some of these away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. How about this? Pretty expensive. How about that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, also let me check. Did I drop the rifle? I did drop the rifle. Yeah, that is pretty expensive. But I think the rifle is more expensive. So I probably would want something like this. But unfortunately I can't get... I would want the ammo though. So yeah, it's actually pretty cheap ammo. It must be because he's drunk or something. I'll give him the Molotov cocktails. I probably should have used the Molotov cocktails to open that door. Because I'm pretty sure they work. Uh, unfortunately that is not quite what I can do. These don't, they're not worth anything. Yeah, should have sold those instead of, well, I have plenty. It's, it's, I think it's fine. It's gonna be fine. I promise you. I don't want to sell these. How about the rope? Do you like ropes? He does like ropes. They're not that expensive. So you know what? You know what? I know the ropes are the most important thing ever, and they are, but, uh, but yeah, there we go. Thank you. I'm leaving. Good stuff, good trade, all things considered. Excuse me, sir, I, a revolutionary. 
that is a hardened militia, militia man, excuse me, the hiccup. Um, and there's m more revolutionaries in here. Okay. Hello. What kind of revolution are they? Are they cooking? I'm not going to say... I've got nothing to say to you, he says. Okay. We got a little bit of a small generator back there. That looks like... Oh, that's locked. Okay, I should be able to open it. I mean, I think so. Let's see what happens. I just immediately opened it. What do we have in here? Okay. How about you? What are you? A standard model of small ele electric generator made by Watts Electronics, which is the normal thing. And a small generator, if you have the time, you could enjoy looking a little, uh, at it a little bit more. Let's science it up. You examine the generator, but don't learn anything interesting. Is it because I don't have... The generator does not need, need repairs. Is it because I don't have science? That would be really cool. Also, another uh, something I need to do is fix street lamps. You can fix them. And thank you for telling me that in the comments, by the way. Um, now, what would I do here? Steel. Maybe steel. I doubt it, but no. It doesn't work. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it would, it would be science. But I don't learn anything interesting. Let's just... I, I'm not going to keep with it because I do want those points just in case I'm going to need them. And I probably will. My science at 30 right now is not great, but at least it, would, it will allow me to gain a fair amount of uh, points. There it is. Um, the fair amount of points uh, with books, but for 75 experience it's not necessary. Examining the generator, you determine that it and the computer equipment was moved here from another room. That is interesting. Was that what my character said? I think we're going to need that conclusion if we're going to progress through things. But I'm okay with uh, with not having it that oh, having that right now. Uh, and besides, I I I couldn't unlock this door. Oh yeah, okay, it's fine. High level of difficulty. Okay. Uh, and besides, if I really need experience, I can always lock doors. Seventy five is not really worth it. But uh, should probably save the game just in case I jam the door. There it is. It's pretty good. Weapons. Don't know why it goes to the bottom, but it does. Is this a dead end? It is not. At least I don't think so. Is that door open? Wait a minute, where did we come from? We came from over there. Oh, that thing open? No, that doesn't open. It's locked. You couldn't unlock this door. Or lock. Let's check the difficulty here. High level. Not very high. Just high. At the bottom. Okay, need to remember that. Could unlock. Conclusion to do. Okay, it's, it's another thing. Probably save just in case. Because it is. No, that's not what I want. That's. Yep. Okay. Yeah, over here. There it is. Oh, man. Just as I did that. Oh, hi. He growls. Oh. Hi. He's coming. I don't think he likes me. Oh, he. Oh, no. Striker supporters. No! That was weird. Why? Okay, I can open the door. No problem. Man, seriously? Uh, but if the dogs... So the dogs complain... I suppose the dogs complain because of, um, of the door being open. Not necessarily because I'm visible. Oh, I am. That is weird. I mean, it is weird that these guys all attack me. That's that's what I mean. It is weird. It could also be because I have the the rifle out. I didn't have the rifle out when the dogs attacked me, though. Let's see what is it. What is over here? Hmm. There must be some sort of uh, bunker below. The lock is brand new. Is it? What is the difficulty of that? A super tough level. I got things for that. You have nothing. You have nothing on me. At least I don't think so. If the bunker door blows up, that one definitely does. There it is. I couldn't pick it, but I can always... I was going to say puck it, but that's not... I don't know things. Let's go down. Ooh. This is not vault Tech. We're dealing with... Uh, I don't know what technology this would be. I know where these come from. Oh, that's interesting that we have Fog of War over there. It's locked. 
The hatch is sealed up tight. You'll need to use the console to open it. Okay. Password required. A very complex password. A V E R Y complex password. That's how complex it is. There's a bunch of rats. I uh, hope they don't attack me. An empty hypodermic. A radio. That's the first. Okay, I'll look at the radio, see what this is. Uh, it's the camouflage thing. Okay, so I can't do anything. Oh, they do attack me. What a shame. Because now I need to do this. I need to do this again. Seriously? Just seriously. Oh, okay. 49% is pretty good. And that's after the rat not moving. 48. Eh, I don't know if it is after or not. Hmm. And there we go. I could shoot them, and I probably will, but not right now. And we got another hyperdermic thing. Okay. Yeah, let's shoot these guys. How much ammo do I have? Because that's a concern. Yeah, I'm not going to shoot them with this. I got plenty of that, but I don't have ammo. Uh, they don't have pistols. Uh, and also, I should not be using that weapon. I should be using this for extra damage. Not extra to hit chance. Even though technically the contact surface is bigger. But that's not how the game works. Also, it would be negligible at best. <laughs> Man. How much damage did I do to the other rat? 10. Eh. Yeah. I de dealt a max. Uh, yeah. Pretty. 4 to 10 is the damage. That's pretty good. These things don't have anything. I'm pressing shift. Uh, that's a control panel. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's see if I can deal with this little guy. I would think, I mean, rats can definitely be aggressive. I don't know enough about rats to know in what kind of territory they would um, they would most likely be um, prone to attack you as a person, as a human. Um, but um, but they can definitely be aggressive to the point of exhibiting these behaviors. And these are just normal rats. It's, they are not even a rat, they are a pest. That's how normal they are. Um, not like super inflated by radiation rats or anything. Uh, but of course they always attack you in, in, in video games because they're rats. But in real life, I think this this would be a, a bit of a shoo shoo you stupid rats. And maybe one or two of them would be a little bit more hissy towards you or anything but, or something. But, uh, but generally speaking, I don't think we'd have a problem. Also because we could kick them. Uh, the door is so rusted and sagged under its own weight that it is impossible to access. Well, it's, the room is impossible to access, not the not the door. The door is easy. Just touch it. And this is... Some, oh, inspect. A vault symbol is visible on its surface. Reminds you of your home. Yeah, well, whatever. It's standard equipment. Oh, I need to science it. Uh, yeah. I got another thing. And now I'm, I'm not over encumbered? Seven pounds worth of stuff. How, where did I lose that much weight I don't remember oh because I sold the the, the rope that's right uh, and I have what is that an iron synthesizer some kind of pre-war device from the company vault I love that notion of synthesizing ions I just it, it is a really cool thing I would say also let me try let me try something here let me try the crowbar, because I never do, and I probably should a lot more. Also, we need to go back to where Big Louie was, so uh, Big Louie was, so I can and do something about that. Okay, that does nothing. So I now have the password, which I do not have, but but I can. I will. Eh, I'll wait until I level up, because yeah, it's gonna be a very complex password. The game is making it very obvious that it is. A very complex password, and we are also out of time, just now looked. Man, time passes by when you play this game. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be that for today. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout Nevada. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.